Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Friday, the show that puts Glen ZB into your virtual headset. Yes, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. And uh, so we've got various environmental concerns uh, over our dairy industry, obviously. And so now people are suggesting that perhaps instead of milking cows, we should milk sheep. Uh, so we've had, there's been a bit of reaction around this. I've yet to hear any reaction from the sheep. I can't imagine that they're wildly excited about it. I mean, because they're, they're probably sitting there thinking, well, you keep shearing us, uh, then eventually you slice us up, sometimes when we're still lambs and eat us, uh, and now you want to pull on our bits until milk comes out as well. It's not easy being a sheep. I don't think they're for it. Interesting the way some sports teams celebrate after they win things. Houston Astros are now the, the world champs. The world series, which is actually only competed between Canadian and, and American teams, of course. Uh, but uh, So here's the um, Houston Astros outfielder, Josh Reddick, uh, being interviewed on international television with no shirt on, and I don't know what that is that he's got on his face. Anyway, he's having a good time. What drug concerns in Major League Baseball? What are you talking about? Uh, so it turns out now, researchers, health researchers, uh, are saying there are 12 distinct kinds of depression which uh, manifest themselves in vastly different ways and this will change the way depression should be diagnosed and treated uh, so so you, you first you're gonna have to figure out are you depressed and then what kind of depression have you got uh, I'm pleased it's only 12 though uh, it turns out Jay-Z may have had it wrong with the 99 problems. That was going a bit far. He probably only had 12 at the end. So he might need to do a remix of that. Finally, just a little pet peeve of mine. Um, I don't know how many people from our newsroom watch this show. I mean, it should be mandatory, of course. But uh, this was a story that popped up when I was researching the show today. Like, an actual story in our news system, presumably to be read on the radio. I'm going to read it to you as it is written here. Auckland Council officials say they don't know where claims it cancelled a fireworks display at Western Springs came from. A Western Springs Speedway promoter said he was gutted that regional facilities Auckland reneged on its approval of a fireworks display this Saturday because of a height limit. Regional Facilities Auckland says that's not true and that the pyro pyrotechnics operator quit. Auckland Stadium's director, Paul Nisbet, says they're working with everyone concerned to find a solution. He says he can't comment on any issue between the promoter and the pyrotechnics operator, but is certain they approved the consent. So... What have we learned out of that story? Nothing at all. Well, it may not have even be it may not even be a thing. We've got a bunch of people who have said things, no actual facts, no straight answers. Why? It's not even worth the piece of paper it's typed on. The author of that story shall remain nameless for now. But see what I have to deal with? You can't just go around. Some people say things and not actually have any facts in your news. I am Glenn ZB. Depressing way to finish the week. Sorry about that. But on the bright side, I'm sure it will be amazing on Monday. I will see you then. Thanks for having me in your virtual headset.